Hello, my beautiful Hidden Gems Tarot Collective. So we are just going to do uh, just a couple short videos here. Um, we are going to start here directly with the Divine Masculine and the overall energy. If you are new to the channel, we want to thank you so much for stopping by. Um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you already are subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for returning. Okay, so let's see what spirit has for us here for the masculine. Spirit, tell us about this current energy for the Divine Masculine at the moment. Okay. So love, your, love yourself first here we have as the current challenge for the Masculines. Okay, it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so since this came out in the struggle position... Um, obviously, we can see the masculines at the moment are struggling with self-love, okay? <clears throat> hey, Spirit, tell us more about this love yourself first for the masculine. Okay, coming out of poverty, coming out of a poverty mindset, okay, coming out of poverty thinking and looking towards distant horizons into the future here. You can see there's a ship here. Okay, definitely focused on self-development, self-mastery, and mastery of the self. Okay, so coming out of the cold, coming out of poverty, okay, learning... Um, the lesson and value of self-love and loving yourself first. Like I said, this is going to be uh, more of a shorter read. So we're not going to do as much uh, detail as we normally do. And uh, how we do on the other videos. Okay, love yourself first, Divine Masculine. Okay, be spontaneous as a challenge here. Getting ready to take the leap of faith here, come, to come out of poverty and to go towards the distant horizons. Okay, right now that's a struggle, so that tells us that is just the current challenge at the moment. Divine Masculine, be spontaneous as a challenge. Seventh house. Very focused on their relationships, partnerships, friendships here. Trying to find balance here. Um, trying to cooperate here, maybe with a partner, maybe with you. Okay, um, but just looking to really bring balance to the overall situation. Um, just to bring a fair deal to the table here. Um, and they understand and are acknowledging that they do need to learn to love themselves first. Uh, because just that self-respect is what is going to make them uh, more romantically attractive. Okay, so let's do a soul lesson here. <clears throat> Here, tell me more. It's masculine. Love yourself first. Uh, friendship as the challenge. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Okay, other side of the deck, we have self-esteem. And this just ties exactly into, um, and then we have health. Okay, so definitely ties into what we were speaking about for the masculines. Loving themselves first. Um, really working hard on the self-esteem to come out of the cold here. Um, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. And very focused on their overall health here. 
and developing uh, healthier friendships um, and partnership. Um, I will honor the physical vessel that nourishes my soul. Okay. And we have denial here, um, bottom of the deck also. I acknowledge my fears, but I replace them with the insight of awareness, okay? Um, so I feel like uh, the masculines was, were in, um, in denial for a long time, for a long period of time, and it looks like they are coming out of that. So this is very focused um, already, as you can see, on uh, self-love. This is... Um, Definitely the masculine getting more in tune here with the feminine energy here um, because the feminines are definitely been doing a lot of shadow work um, regarding self-love. Okay, so let's see, Divine and Masculine. What is the Divine Masculine communicating here? So please tell us what is Divine Masculine communicating here. Okay, bottom of the deck we have, I'm so full of regret. Okay, yeah, this is just what we were just talking about. That's so interesting. Um, Spirit is asking that you do some inner healing and shadow work here at the other side of the deck. Alexa, lower the volume. Yeah, okay, and then we have here the masculine says, I'm healing at the moment. Lots of healing going on, lots of shadow work. I'm gonna pull this here, okay. Okay, we're gonna stop right there and Let's see, let's bring some tarot out and just see what we go from there. If anybody is interested, this is the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. Um, this is one of my favorite decks. I don't use this one too much on this channel, um, but I just thought I would do this one for today. Okay, masculine. I'm healing at the moment. And Spirit is asking that you do some inner healing and shadow work. Okay, this is why this health is here also. Healing at the moment for the masculine, please. Okay, yes, there's the death card, major change, major transformation, uh, ready for the spiritual transformation, okay? Okay, let's see what we get. Definitely just accepting here that um, it's just time to definitely do the work and go within and heal, okay? Um, healing the shadow side. So I feel like in the past, uh, there was definitely plenty of opportunities. The universe had gifted for this masculine here too, bringing this tower moment here. Um, but it looks like, let me get this close up for you guys. It's kind of dark. You can see we have the tower and then we have the full. So this masculine is taking the leap of faith here um, to just let this old foundation crumble and to have this major transformation and this death and this rebirth um, and to heal. Okay, four of cups reverse coming out of this apathetic energy and just acknowledging, accepting that they need to move on with their life, okay? Eight of wands reversed. I see this masculine was stuck here where the tower reversed. Um, trying their best to stay stuck, stay stagnant here, not moving, and um, trying to prevent, as we've seen in previous readings, <clears throat> um, to move forward. Okay, now this masculine is at the moment in the Knight of Pentacles energy. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Tur Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, ready to come in with a very solid, steady, long-term offer. Um, and really ready to um, build a new foundation here. Okay. Healing at the moment. Spirit, tell us for the masculine. 
Okay, here's a tower again. There's a tower. Okay, this masculine three of wands, seeing the bigger picture. Okay, uh, waiting for his ships to come in and getting ready to take action towards the union. Okay, after a long period of time of hanged man reversed, you could be dealing uh, with a Pisces. This is Pisces energy here, hanged man reversed. Um, playing a martyr role. Uh, people pleasing, making unnecessary sacrifices, okay? Um, in the past, very afraid to uh, make a sacrifice um, because of maybe childhood wounds or anxiety here. So with this nine of swords reverse, we see this masculine is currently coming out of that energy and freeing themselves uh, from any anxiety here from the past here. Okay, this masculine could have been having sleepless nights, very restless in the past here. Um, but uh, really uh, becoming more mature. You guys can see the page of swords here. Becoming more mature mentally and also king of pentacles uh, in the material world. Okay, ready to mature, ready to uh, gain stability in the material world. Okay, yeah, this is such beautiful energy. We have the magician. So uh, this masculine is acknowledging that they have closed out with the world here. They have closed out a karmic cycle. You see the lovers reversed. Then we have the justice card. This is amazing energy, actually. Okay, and then ace of pentacles reversed. Um, so they are acknowledging here. They have planted bad seeds in the past here. Uh, lots of missed opportunities. Okay, it looks like the universe brought justice to the situation, brought balance to the situation, along with this uh, seventh house. This is the Libra energy. This is the justice energy. The Lib this justice card is Libra's energy, okay? Okay, um, so really ready to be truthful, ready to be honest here and uh, live authentically. Okay, they've already made the decision with this lover's reverse. This is the choice that has already been made. Um, for some of you, for some of your masculines, it looks like there was a separation, maybe with a karmic partner. Um, and when we say karmic partner, this doesn't always have to be a, rela uh, a romantic relationship. Okay. This could just be uh, friends, family, associates, um, just a community. Um, so closed out, acknowledging they closed out a karmic cycle. There was an ending to a karmic cycle that has been completed. Um, they have gained closure on what they needed to, um, the lessons they needed to understand here to move forward here. Uh, we have the magician reversed here. Um, this masculine is also acknowledging they understand now. They have all the tools necessary to manifest and create their own reality and their own destiny here. Um, to have this new beginning, this new start on their new path as they go towards this distant horizons here on this new journey in this new spiritual journey towards self-esteem uh, loving themselves first healing at the moment and um, definitely just surrendering uh, to the inner healing and shadow work to focus on their health okay <clears throat> okay Let's see what else we have here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull. Lots of major arcana here. So major life lessons, major, major life lessons, um, along with help from the universe and spirits. Okay, spirit, tell us about this love receiver. Okay. Uh, so in the past, uh, this masculine could have been very unfaithful in the past, um, very inconsistent here, sleeping around or multiple partners. Uh, this card did come out reversed. Okay, so this masculine is acknowledging um, they are just uh, done with that, ready to put that behind here. Um, in the past here we have, this says, I'm so confused because of all of the shit talking. Um, so how we discussed in previous videos, there was a lot of shit talking going on here in their circle, uh, which left this masculine really confused, right? Um, so this is reversed. So, uh, there is recovery from that also. And, uh, this masculine says, I feel like you are the one for me. I can't imagine living my life 
with anyone else, okay? So this is definitely um, lots of improvements here as we've seen compared to the previous readings. Okay, you guys, I'm going to have to use this other deck here because I want to keep those there just so I can see what's going on. Unfaithful, tell us more. That is in reverse. Okay, yeah, running from commitment in the past. Knight of Wands reversed. Uh, running from their commitments in the past. Okay, Nine of Wands reversed. Very tired of that, very fatigued, very just worn out, very tired um, on a spiritual level. Okay, um, so, and then we have the chariot. This is Cancer's card here. We, like we always mention here, we have been mentioning, uh, we do have the sun in Cancer. So that is the focus here. Um, moving forward here, finding direction here, balancing out the feminine, the feminine and masculine energies to move forward here, um, gaining the willpower, um, right, to move forward. Okay, we have the Hanged Man, and we have the Justice Reversed. Um, so obviously, as we know in the past, not taking responsibility, accountability here. Um, but now they are have surrendered here. They have hung themselves, as you guys can see. I already shuffled it back. but um, So that's pretty obvious. Let's do the next one. So confused because of all of the shit talking reverse. Ooh. Okay, King of Wands reverse. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, very domineering in the past. Very uh, trying to dictate things. Um, very fiery energy, but in a uh, distorted, unhealthy way. Um, very uh, low self-esteem here. Lots of bullying going on here. We have three of cups reversed. Uh, this is a third party here. Lots of gossiping, um, overindulging in uh, social affairs here in a negative way, though. Um, and which left this masculine out in the cold. You can see here um, in the struggle. Okay, five of pentacles here. Okay, uh, but now this masculine, as we've seen earlier, this came out again. Four of Cups reversed. Okay, really just accepting things for what they are. Um, uh, sudden awareness here of the truth, and they just need to move on and uh, accept that. And Five of Cups. That's so interesting. We have the Four of Cups reversed, and then the Five of Cups reversed right out with each other. So Five of Cups reversed is all about um, just uh, Five of Cups upright would be crying over spilled milk, crying over bad blood. Here, disappointments, emotional pain, grief, regret, right? So it's reversed. They're coming out of that energy, okay? Making improvements here. Just moving on, accepting things for what they are, and uh, moving forward here. This is moving along like, right on point for when we had this new moon of cancer, you guys. So this is definitely where these masculines are supposed to be at the moment. Okay, uh, like we said earlier, this masculine says, I feel like you are the one for me, and I could not imagine living my life with anybody else. Okay, tell us more. Okay, eight, uh, ace of wands, ready for a new passionate beginning here. Um, or this masculine could just be starting a new creative endeavor. Either way, masculine is very, very, very uh, inspired here to take action here. Okay, five of wands reversed, no longer wanting to fight, no longer wanting to compete. 
um, no longer wanting to be in their own internal uh, struggle, their own inter internal battle, okay? We have a Queen of Cups reverse. This is the distorted um, karmic here, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So obviously these, <laughs> these karmics have to come out every reading, don't they? Okay, so there is the world as a struggle. Okay. <sighs> here we go. You guys know how this goes. We get into the karmics and uh, we're going to do these karmics as you know, I, I just like to keep it straightforward. I don't like too much drama in these readings. So let's just do this karmic and we're going to close this out and uh, we're going to continue on and do a couple more videos um, just to get to the feminine energy and do a quick check in for the feminine. Okay. Okay, so tell us about this Queen of Cups reverse. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'm projecting what the karmic said about you onto you, okay? Um, so lots of projection as we've seen in previous videos again, um, this masculine, lots of gossip with this Queen of Cups reversed energy. Um, Queen of Cups reversed is somebody very emotionally uh, unstable, emotionally immature, um, uh, very manipulative here. Uh, very um, overly dependent emotionally on this masculine. Okay, um, I felt like uh, this, lots of projecting, okay, from this karmic partner onto you, okay. This masculine says he was trying to run from his problems, okay, maybe, um, and then we have fake love, and then we have mommy issues, and then we have stuck in the past or nostalgia. Okay, so okay, you guys. I'm gonna stick with this deck here because it's projecting what the karmic said about you onto you. Okay, faithfulness as a challenge here. Um, so, and then we have wife reversed um, on the bottom of the deck and a young woman. Okay, so um, masculine in the past had a very, this karmic partner here, you guys can see queen of cups reversed, made it a very big struggle here for this masculine to be loyal to you, to be uh, faithful to you and honor you and your guys' love here and your union, right? Um, Oh. Okay, we're going to keep her there. No, we're not. We're going to put that back in the deck and we're going to show her. Okay, Spirit, tell me. Tell me with this uh, project in the karmic. Okay, we have three of swords reversed, coming out of heartbreak, coming out of sorrow, coming out of grief, okay? There was a lots of heartbreak here in the recent past. It looks like uh, this masculine page of wands, very determined here, as we've seen with the ace of wands, to really get the ball rolling, to uh, planning to take action, to move forward on this new path, this new journey, coming out of poverty, um, this is a very clear indicator of the same energy here. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, working very, very hard to um, overcome these obstacles, challenges, barriers, okay? Moving past those bounds here, moving out of fear. Ten of Swords reversed, this is an inevitable end. This is just a situation that these masculines are acknowledging has to end. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool, this is amazing. Okay. 
Masculine's getting ready to take the leap of faith here towards this uh, new beginning. Okay, onto their spiritual path, to their correct journey. Okay, okay trying to run from my problems. Okay, Ace of Swords reversed. Okay, these masculines could have been very confused in the past here. Um, maybe didn't realize here at the at the time that uh, that they were running from their problems. Okay, because we have the King of Wands reversed. Okay, uh, King of Wands reversed is somebody who will appear to be confident and uh, um, courageous, but not really. Um, this is it's like a, they would they will put on a show. And be very domineering and very controlling okay um, so I want to see why this ace of swords here is here ace of swords reverse why is this here okay spirit guides want to assist yeah so this masculine stayed confused for a very long time, really long time. Um, and it looks like spirit obviously had to step in uh, to really push these masculines uh, to the edge so that they can take the leap of faith, work on their self-esteem, wrap up these old karmic cycles because it's, really, it's just getting played out, you guys, right? A lot of you guys on your journey, you guys understand here. Um, you and uh, This is just for some of you. Um, you and your masculine, it says staying together only for the kids, okay? Uh, maybe your masculine and codependency issues. Yeah, definitely a karmic situation here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like these masculines confused um, this connection with this karmic partner, with this feminine energy. Uh, for love here, um, but just acknowledging and realizing this is not love. This is not. Um, this is not real love. This is just codependency issues. Okay, you're keeping me uh, together, stuck and um, stagnant here in negative patterns, negative behavior, right? Um, and trying to prevent self-love. Okay, staying together only for the kids. It says. Staying together only for the kids. Okay. Ten of Wands. You can see he's very burdened, very lots of responsibility, very burdened here. Um, unnecessary burden here from his karmic partner. Okay, um, ready just to come out of that energy. There's a three of swords again, reversed. Really just ready to come out of that energy. Okay. Hanged man surrendering okay you can see he's hunked himself here okay and gaining enlightenment looking at things from a different perspective okay from a higher perspective nine of pentacles bottom of the deck um self-mastery okay this masculine for some of you could want to be single um and it looks like it's going to be single um but uh, overall just self-mastery self-development and this masculine trying to gain uh, stability here, financial stability um, on their own in the material world here. To bring you this Ten of Pentacles here, you can see the, uh, the husband, the wife, the kids, the happy family, the dogs here. And this is just wanting to build and create a legacy, okay, with you. Okay. Guys, I swear this codependence, these codependency issues come out every reading, don't they? Okay, so codependency issues, spirit. Okay, hierophant, justice, strength, eight of wands. Very, very fast movement here. Uh, spirit has stepped in, teaching these major life lessons here of codependency here. Uh, this masculine's uh, gotten his justice here. 
Uh, things just have to be balanced here. Uh, spirit has definitely stepped in here, giving this masculine the inner strength, inner courage to move forward here. Um, so you have inner compassion for themselves so that they can move forward with the Eight of Wands. Okay. Um, very focused here, regaining focus and uh, just becoming more uh, refocusing again so they can move forward. That's very obvious. I think you guys understand that. Um, to offer Six of Pentacles, equal give and take here. Um, in the past, they really struggled with equal give and take, giving to uh, the wrong people, okay? So lovers and Six of Pentacles. This is masculine, making a choice to give equally and to bring balance to the situation. Okay. No longer juggling. Okay, let's go over this fake love and see what Spirit wants to bring out for us. Spirit, tell us about this fake love. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, juggling here, you and a karmic partner, friend, family. Okay, take that how that resonates for your guys' situation. Um, I feel like this other person, very uh, uh, star reverse, this other person, very negative energy, very uh, lack of faith, um, very discouraging here, and just bringing a lot of negativity um, to this masculine, okay? Um, this other person here, this masculine was juggling a uh, very unhealed person. This person, this, this is a feminine energy here, very unhealed. Okay, there's a karmic card. Yeah, taking this masculine's uh, willpower to move forward here. You can see five of cups reversed again, moving on. Just moving on, coming out of this mental conflict, um, coming out of this just the sneaky behavior with this karmic partner. It's just fake love, okay? Let's see, we want to pull something else here. Spirit wants me to pull this numerology. Star reverse. Take love. Okay. Spirit says you are very close to achieving your goal. Very close to achieving your goal. Spirit says to also go towards your north node here. Step out of your comfort zone, which you are doing. This is very beautiful energy here. You and your loved ones are safe here. We have the new moon in Cancer coming up very shortly uh, on the 9th this Friday. Okay. So you guys want to get ready to uh, start setting your intentions for the new moon. Anything you guys want to manifest, create. Um, get ready to set uh, those intentions now. Okay. So that's very obvious. Very close to achieving your goal. The world, and then you have the world. This is the completion of this karmic cycle. Here's this achievement here. Okay, after a long battle, a long struggle, lots of strife. Okay, coming out of this fake love. Okay, dealing with these karmic partners who confuse you, who project their insecurities onto you, who um, you only stay around to run from your problems. Okay, we have stuck in the past and nostalgia. Oh. Let's pull a mermaid card for that. Stuck in the past for the masculine. Alexa, lower the volume. Okay, we have abundance reversed. Okay, this old foundation of living in the past, being nostalgic, overly romanticizing the past um, with this karmic partner or this community, friends or family. Uh, it was just really this masculine here. You guys can see discernment, using their discernment now here. In the past, they really struggled uh, using proper discernment and just trust their intuition in the past. Um, so just seeing things for what they are and just realizing, acknowledging that they have been living in the past. Okay, we have uh, the world reversed. Um, they had a lack of closure here on this uh, Empress reverse codependency. Okay. That was leaving them, excuse me. 
that was leaving them uh, very unhappy. You guys can see the sun is reversed. Very unhappy, lack of joy. Okay, lack of fulfillment. Stuck in the past, abundance reversed. Yeah, living a lie here. Uh, Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that takes on a uh, like an imposter personality. Um, somebody that uh, just feels like a misfit. Um, just somebody uh, also a pathological liar here. But overall, this Knight of Swords, um, as I tell you guys, is um, this person just not living authentically in their truth, not speaking their truth not standing up for what they really believe in, and just trying to uh, stay stuck in the past. So that foundation is crumbled, okay? Crumbling. Yes. Then we have the death card. Endings. Change. Transformation. To the happiness. You guys can see the sun came out again, but this time upright, okay? King of Cups reverse. Uh, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Uh, this is a masculine energy here, acknowledging here they are ready for this change, ready for transformation, ready to be happy, ready to be uh, living in joy here, living in their truth, living in their purpose here, and ready to mature emotionally um, and really balance out their emotions here along with their feminine counterpart, okay? And then we have the beautiful, look at that, they have the emperor, emperor there, okay? There's a divine masculine here. <laughs> this is so nice. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles, okay, masculine is ready. I should have pulled that out on this table. Oh. Okay, got truth and clarity here with this um, other feminine energy, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Um, this uh, masculine got truth, clarity, this other feminine energy, uh, very much so uh, just in it for the material gain and for the money, very jealous, very insecure. Okay, very just all about the finances, all about the money. Okay, so full of fortune going towards their destiny and the correct path. Okay, Ten of Pentacles reversed once again. The old foundation is just crumbling here. Um, I see a separation, I see a divorce. Okay, lots of divorces, lots of separations. Okay, spirit is just not playing anymore at this point. And uh, anything built on the old found on an old foundation here, um, any type of relationships um, being that were built upon just uh, material gain or money, um, arrogance, anything like that is just crumbling. Okay, so we have lots of towers coming in. This is just we're in 2021, and. Uh,